Welcome back to Crabtree Creations. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a really cute Easter DIY with items mostly from the Dollar Tree. Um, the first thing I'm going to use is this um, cute little purple planter that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be using some of this Spanish moss that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be using some of these stones that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be using this onion grass that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be using this little bitty bunny I got from the Dollar Tree. And then um, I know the Dollar Tree sells carrots, um, but I went to four different Dollar Trees and they were all out of carrots. So I resorted to going to Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby has all their Easter decor half off at my Hobby Lobby. And so this was $6 and I got three carrots. Um, so they ended up being $3. So I guess a dollar a piece. And then I also got these pom-poms at um, the Dollar Tree and they're $1.99 and I got them 40% off um, with my Hobby Lobby coupon. And then I'm also gonna need um, these um, needle nose pliers and then some scissors. Um, these pom-poms are optional for this, but this little bunny was too cute, and it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so I couldn't pass it up, but his little bunny tail did not work for me, so I got these pom-poms to give him a good old-fashioned bunny tail, because I want him to look like a good old-fashioned bunny. Okay, so this, um, this is super simple. Anyone can do this craft. Um, you don't have to have these rocks, but I, since this is, um, like plastic, I decided I wanted something to keep it stable so it didn't flop over. Um, but this bunny is not very heavy, so it probably won't flip over either way, but I wanted to be safe and sorry. So I'm going to turn you down a little so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now that I've got you turned down, um, you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a handful of these rocks in the bottom. Just so that it's stable, so that this doesn't get knocked over really easily. Okay. Then, I'm gonna set that to the side for a second. I'm gonna get the onion grass. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tag. Okay, so this onion grass is really simple to take apart and I want to take it apart. Um, you can see in here that there are pieces that you could just slide off. So I'm just gonna slide off each one of those pieces and set those to the side. Okay, then I'm gonna get my scissors and there's tape at the bottom of the onion grass. So I'm just gonna cut that tape off. So that I can unravel the whole piece of onion grass. Okay, so now that the tape's removed, then this just comes off just like that. And then you can discard this part that, that these were stuck to. So you're not going to need that. So you can just discard that. So I'm going to have this one piece like this. And then I'm going to have all these small pieces like this. And this is just going to look like grass. Okay. Then I'm going to cut off the tag for my um, carrots. I think these are carrots are super adorable because I mean they look so realistic. I think they're so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna put those to the side. 
once you get your rock down there, and just enough to cover the bottom, then you want to get your bunny. I'm going to take the tag off the bunny. <clears throat> and then I'm also going to cut off the little care for tag in the bottom of the bunny as well. Okay, because you're going to see this part sticking out. Okay, like I said, I wanted it to have more of a prominent bunny tail. So I got one of these pom-poms. So I'm just going to put a generous amount of hot glue. on the bottom side of this bunny tail. And then I'm just going to attach that over his tail that's on there. Just like that. I like that tail much, much better. Okay, so then you're gonna get a little bit of the Spanish moss and then you're just gonna put it down over the rock. Just so it looks like there is some grass down into your pot. <clears throat> Just like that. Okay. All right. Then you want to get your long strand of the onion grass and you just want to place it down in the back so it's just standing up just like that then you want to get these these ones that, the small ones that you took off and you just want to place them on the side okay so i have one two three four five six seven eight okay so to balance that out you'll put four on each side. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. Just so that it looks good to you. Okay, so that's what you have so far. There's room here in the front for your little bunny, okay? And then it will, you want it to look like he is digging for carrots, okay? So you'll want to place the bunny down in there, but you want his ears to come up a little so you can tell he's a bunny. You want to put his front legs all the way down in there, but his back legs sticking up, and then his little bunny tail showing like that, just like that. Let me tilt it so you can see. Okay, so then you want to look like he's digging. So you're going to put this carrot like this, tilt it out so it looks like he's digging the carrots out of the potted plant, just like that. And there's three carrots. So I am going to put the third carrot out like this beside it where I'm going to set it so that it looks like that he has already gotten one of the carrots out and then he's digging for the other two carrots. Okay, so there is your finished bunny digging in a pot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.